Hey you guys, it's your girl T. So I want to go ahead and shout out Fabi. Fabi's one of my subscribers and him along with several people sent me this really disturbing videos about a Checkers employee. This damn hood rat had herself filmed on camera taking a button on a hamburger and wiping it on the floor and then preparing the meal for somebody. This whole situation is just disgusting. I want you guys to go ahead and check out her video really quick and I'm gonna come back with the rest of my commentary. Sell this nigga this shit, yo. Oh my God, yo. Check out that video. So of course after that video went viral, people were upset, folks were going off. Fabi ended up hitting me up and he let me know that him and his family had eaten at that particular checkers and that his whole family got sick and that they also called the corporate company and the corporate company at that point in time admitted to him and the family that a lot of people were calling in saying that they had eaten and they had gotten sick as well but then checkers decided to put out a video and the lady in the video is basically saying that this food was not served and that the employee had been fired I don't believe a word that this woman has to say I, I want you guys to go and check out this video that checkers released check this out and I'm gonna come back with the rest of my commentary Hi, I'm Lori Malcolm, Senior Vice President of Human Resources for Checkers. I'd like to take a moment to address the video that was posted on social media yesterday showing an employee mishandling our food. I, like you, am appalled and disappointed by what I saw in that video. This morning, we spoke to the employee in the video and her mother, and the employee is very sorry and embarrassed about what happened. She confirmed that she and her co-workers were playing around in the kitchen and the product was never served to a guest. While the employee is very apologetic, these actions are completely unacceptable and do not reflect our values or our commitment to food quality. The behaviors in the video do not represent the more than 18,000 hardworking team members who dedicate themselves to serving our guests in our restaurants every day. While the video posted yesterday this event actually occurred a few weeks ago at a Checkers franchise location in a suburb of Baltimore. The franchisee launched an investigation and the employee, employees involved are no longer employed by that franchisee. We have very strict standards, procedures, and training in place regarding the preparation and handling of our food, and we take pride in serving our guests. As the franchisor, we at Checkers Corporate Office are conducting a full investigation and exploring all of our options. We value our guests and our employees. Thank you for your concern, your comments, and your support. All right, so you guys just check out the video and like I said I don't believe a word of what that woman had to say I feel like the checkers company is full of shit no way in hell that that woman rubbed that bun on the floor she then took mayo and put it on the bun she put pickles on the bun you can't tell me that she didn't serve that to somebody my thing is when she stuck that knife in the mayo and then she put the mayo on the bun and then she stuck the knife back in the mayo that alone was contamination so even if she didn't supposedly serve the burger to anybody she contaminated it by allowing that knife to touch the top of that burger that she had just wiped on the floor so to me the whole situation is disgusting there's no excuse for that this woman should not only be fired she should be arrested for contaminating food i'm so tired of these disgusting ass fast food workers if you don't feel like working and you don't want to be there then you need to quit your job these are the same folks who sit here and cry and whine about you know how they should be making 15 dollars an hour just to drop some fries and just to flip a burger this is why a majority of people do not take fast food employees seriously and do not feel like they need 15 dollars an hour because at this point in time a lot of folks are looking at it like why should they be paid $15 an hour when most of them all they do is goof off they have horrible customer service and now you're tampering with the food of course it's not all fast food workers but it's really really disturbing that this is becoming more and more of a trend over the past few years and I love how folks are trying to make it look like this is a black issue and this is like you know typical black women behavior first of all a lot of people a lot of different races of people have been caught tampering with food we had the nasty ass man from Taco Bell licking the Taco Bell shells and then back in like 2009 2009 2010 that video leaked about those Domino's pizza workers they were white and they were putting toppings up their noses and farting on the pizza and just doing disgusting After things a sickening video posted online by two Domino's pizza workers they claim it was all a harmless prank but now they're out of work and facing criminal charges fair warning many of you might find the video a little distasteful here's NBC's Ron Mott hello this is Christy back again. It's Kitchen Confidential turned Arrested Development. 
That's you. I need to put a burger on that sandwich. But unlike the best-selling book detailing the less-than-glamorous stuff that goes on in restaurant kitchens, two Domino's pizza workers in North Carolina are in big trouble with the food police and the real police for making this video and posting it on YouTube. Marcus special Italian sandwich. In the video, one employee sticks cheese up his nose, later even wiping himself with a sponge used for dishes, all to a running play-by-play -play from his seemingly delighted co-worker. Michael. He's such a great star. Yes, he is. In an online statement, Domino's delivered a career-ending blow to the pair and a stern warning about the hazards of the web, saying, quote, anyone with a camera and an Internet link can cause a lot of damage. 32-year-old Michael Setzer and 31-year-old Christy Hammonds were fired and charged with distribution of prohibited foods, though they insist none of the food in question was ever served to customers. Still, the health department closed the restaurant this week to be sanitized. 125,000 employees around the country that work for us, um, are, you know, all of them are doing it the right way, and you know, two idiots get to you know, make it a, a really hard day for a lot of us. The two are certainly not the first fast food workers whose video pranks landed them in hot water. Employees at a Burger King in Ohio and a KFC in California did so quite literally, taking a dip in the kitchen sink. The Domino's narrator, Christy Hammonds, apologized to the company in an email. Her mother said she's embarrassed by her daughter's actions and asked that her face be hidden. I thought, why, why in the world did y'all do that? And, you know, and she said, well, Mom, it was just a prank. You know, we didn't... <laughs> Said nothing out to nobody. That's why, you know, I know you wouldn't have, but it blew my mind. Food for thought. Now it's ready to be shipped to some unlucky customer. And a harsh lesson learned. Thank you. For today, Ron Mott, NBC News, yeah, Atlanta. One. And the funny thing is that once these idiots are caught, they all claim that they never served the food, which I feel is bullshit because why would you even be doing that in the first place? It's obviously they're doing that to serve the food so that way they have something to laugh about afterwards. When I see stuff like this, it just makes me not want to eat fast food. It makes me not want to food with people. You know, it's like when you go out to eat, you literally have to pray over your food because some people are just so damn demented and so damn disgruntled that they want to make other people sick just doing disgusting things. I just find the whole situation just disgusting and really damn dickless. I do not feel like that girl should only be fired. Her ass needs to be in jail for tampering with food. Numerous people got sick at Checkers. I know somebody personally who stated that he was sick after he went to that restaurant. Checkers needs to further investigate and not just fire her. I just think the whole situation just makes the entire restaurant just look really, really bad. So anyways, let's go ahead and get the discussion popping. Go ahead and leave a comment. How do you guys feel about this entire situation concerning this Checkers employee? Do you feel like she didn't serve the food to the customers like Checkers is trying to allege? Or do you feel like she did serve the food to the customers and checkers is just trying to save face so let's go ahead and get the discussion popping go ahead and leave a comment all right deuces hey youtube it's your girl lovely t and you can show me some love by hitting that subscribe button watching my previous videos and following me on social media